Well, I thought I would give some updates on what's going on with the 1979 Honda Goldwing GL1000. And first thing that you will notice is that the fairing is gone. <laughs> Thank God, man. I'm telling you. The fairing was not for me. Here it is actually on the ground. I actually uh, tried to film bits and pieces of it, so I'll edit that video and put that together. But I'm missing a headlight here, so I actually need to try and locate a headlight because this headlight that was on the fairing, this does not come out and pop into here as I was hoping. I was thinking maybe I could just pop that out and put that in there. It doesn't work like that. But uh, yeah, I'm missing a headlight here, but I do have the fairing off, thank goodness. And look at this, there's this cool little cool little Honda symbol right here, cool little Honda, the, the Honda brand right there that's finally seen the light of day. It, you know, that's been hidden behind that fairing. But uh, yeah, I'm working on that, uh, or, or I, I will work on that fairing uh, video to try and show everybody how I did that. It wasn't that difficult. It wasn't difficult at all, actually. It was very, very, very simple. Um, but I do have the, uh, the fairing off. I've taken off these side panels here. Uh, just because I needed to to get to some of the electronics over here I need to in order to get to the uh, the coolant reservoir here as well um, I mean really I haven't done a whole lot of whole lot of things I mean I have done like I've taken it in for a compression test and 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 that uh, passed uh, fairly well I have of course changed the plugs I did have to change this um, uh, that that spark plug cap there as well uh, you know, so I've, I haven't done anything major other than remove the fairing, um, like, like I said, did the plugs, you know, oil change, things like that. Uh, it's kind of your standard. This is a new battery on here as well. But the next thing that I am ready to do, because finally I was able to get to this point, is um, I'm working on these. <laughs> this is going to be next here. The timing belts. There are two timing belts right in here, and I need to. Uh, I needed to remove the fairing in order to get to it, man. So I had to remove the fairing. I've already loosened up the uh, the radiator radiator here a little bit. I'm going to be uh, uh, loosening it up even more. You see, I've, I've dripped down some fluid here as well, but um, uh, yeah. So that's the next thing on my list is to actually attack the uh attack the timing belts and i'll be i'll be working on that next but yeah i just thought i'd give just a kind of a quick update on what's been going on with the 1979 honda goldwing go 1000 oh you know i actually fixed the um i actually fixed this um this cruise control here it actually it actually does work it just needed to be tightened there's a little screw up in here and so all you do is you know when you when you crank the the throttle you put this down here like this and then bam it'll stay in in position you click this up and then the throttle goes back so anyway i did i did fix that but uh yeah that's about it man and here you know what before i actually because i don't know what i'm going to do with the exhaust i really haven't decided what i'm going to do with the exhaust but just so you can hear it here's what the exhaust sounds like um the stock the stock exhaust on here and it's been it's been firing up real real easy the way i do it is i will pull the the, the choke out Okay, bam, bam, turn it on, make sure that the pet, pet cock valve is uh, is set, and then I will crank the throttle here, and then let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, oh, a little bit, a little bit high, but it, it fires right up, man. I'm telling you, it fires right up, and then I just kind of nurse the, 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 the choke. Uh, over time here, but let me let you listen to the exhaust. This is the this is the stock exhaust, and obviously it's running a little bit high here right now because I do have the choke. I'll try to bring it down a bit here. Yeah, that's even a little bit high, but just 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 you can hear it here.
<laughs> I mean, I don't know how I feel about the, um, I don't know how I feel about the exhaust note, to be quite honest with you. I mean, uh, it, it's not the deep, the deep bass that I am used to, but, uh, it's actually grown on me though. It really has, you know, I also just don't, I don't know if I like the look of these, just these long, these long pipes though, you know, they really do stick out. They come all the way to the edge of the, uh, all the way to the, to the edge of the, of the back tire. So anyway, we'll see. We'll see what I'm going to do. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll decide what I'm going to do with all that. So anyway, just thought I'd give a quick update on what's been going on with the 1979 Honda Goldwing GL1000, boy. It's, uh, it's really coming along. I'm having a good time with it, but I'm just able to dabble, uh, dabble here and there as I have time. So anyway, quick update uh, to let you guys know what's going on. Oh, here's one thing here. Check this out. Uh, no turn signals. See, look, I have no turn, I mean, obviously I have turn signals on the back, but no turn signals on the front, because they actually chopped them off. These are gone, man. Oh, so I, 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 I think what I'm going to have to do is try to find some aftermarket, or I've seen where people will, will attach turn signals to the, uh, to the, uh, the headlight uh, shroud here, and so we'll see, we'll see what I decide to do. Anyway, with that, my friends, my people, continue to ride with confidence, head up, 100%, yeah, this is Super B.